The question I am about to show you has come out 50% of the time in every released S1 examination. That's one out of two. Every exam, one out of two of every exam, this question comes out. And the question is on ungrouped data and finding the mean of variance of ungrouped data. And you can, you can characterize this question by seeing the sums here. And I'll quickly show you what it looks like. You always, they always give you these sums, the sum of uh, t minus 2.5 squared, the sum of x minus 45 and x minus 45 squared. You can always see they give you these sums here and then they get you to make calculations from those sums. But I've grouped all of this type of question together and I've given my personal answers to them. But quickly, we're gonna go through two of the main ways they ask this question with these sums. But before we start, we're gonna quickly go through what you need to understand to answer this style of question. So really the only two things that you need to understand is coded mean and variance and combining means and variance. Um, and all this really means is that if you have a mean of a data set and you wanna find the mean of that data set minus a constant, well, all that is, is just the mean of the original data set minus that constant. That's it. And for the variance, you can say that, well, a shifted, like if you have a data set and you have the variance of that data set, well, the shifted, if you shift all of those points one way or the other, that doesn't change the variance. The variance stays the same. And that's given by this equation. And then you need to understand, and you'll understand this when we go through a question, because we're gonna go through a question on you know when they ask on coded mean and variance and we're going to also go through a question when they ask you to combine means and variances of two different data sets but for this basically this says that the combined mean is simply this the combined mean of two sets of data is simply the sum of all of the data over the number of data sets and same goes for this combined variance but you'll get a grasp of that when we go through two good questions and this first one will be using your understanding of shifted means and shifted variances or coded means and variances but so let's do this so we've got amy uh, she's measuring her pulse rate and the x uh, x beats per minute for 30 days so x is our data set and we remember that from our data from our uh, syllabus or you know formula sheet let's write down quickly our two important formulas this is the mean of some ungrouped data and this is will be the variance of some ungrouped data and this is just on your formula sheet but let's answer this question so we've got an n of 30 here and we're given these two expressions so the sum of x minus 80 equals negative 147. And we're also given the sum of x minus 80 squared equals 952. And it wants us to find the mean and standard deviations of Amy's pulse rate, which is we want to find x, the mean of x, and also the standard deviation of x. And so for finding the mean, what we have to say, we have to use our understanding of shifted means. So that means we, we that means that means that we can, so we can say that the mean of x minus 80, this data set of x minus 80, we can say that that is equal to the mean of x minus 80. And that's shown on the worksheet. So the reason that helps us is because we have this value here and we can say that the mean of x minus 80 is the sum of x minus 80 we're just subbing it into this equation here divided by n and that equals the mean of x minus 80 so remember we're wanting to find the mean of x or Amy's pulse rate so let's rearrange this by taking the 80 over we get the sum of x minus 80 divided by n plus 80 and now we have all these values so we can find the mean of x we have this is equal to negative 147 our n is 30 because she does it for 30 days and then we plus 80 so if we put that in your calculator you're going to get an answer 
of 75.1. And then it also wants you to find the standard deviation. And so what we know, again, from shifted variance or standard deviation, we can say that the variance of x minus 80 well, because that equals this is the same as the variance of x. You know, shifting all of the data points over by 80 does not change the variance, the spread of the data. It doesn't change, it just moves it all over. Okay, and the reason that that helps us is because, well, we can then say that our variance equals to, from this equation, equals to the variance of x minus 80, and that will be, well, we just sub in our x minus 80. You know, into here. So our x now is x minus 80. So we're subbing those into there. That equals to that over n minus x minus 80, the mean of x minus 80 squared. Right? Okay, so we have all these values. So we can say that the sum of this we were given here is 952. This is 952 over 30 minus, well the mean of x minus 80 is this, right? This is going to be the sum of x minus 80 over n, which is equal to minus 147 over 30 squared. And so we put this in our calculator, we get squared and then 952 divided by 30 minus answer. So it gives us 7.72, 7.723. But remember, this is the variance, and it wants us to find the standard deviation of x. So we simply just square root this to get the standard deviation of x equals the square root of that, which is 2.78. Okay. And now let's do another good example where in this in this example you're going to be uh, using your understanding of how to combine two data sets to find the combined mean and the combined standard deviation. Okay, so we've got some archery club that has 12 junior members and 20 senior members. For the junior members, the mean age is 15.5, standard deviation is 1.2. Senior members have these two expressions. So why is the age of the senior? Uh, members. So let's write out what we've got. Let, let's call x the age of the junior members. So x is the age of the junior members. So we can say that nx, or so the number of junior members is 12. We have that the mean of the junior members' age is 12, uh, 15.5. And the standard deviation of the juniors' age is uh, 1.2. And then we have NY, so where Y is the age of senior members in years. We have Y is 20. And then we're given these two um, expressions here. So the sum of Y equals 910, and the sum of Y squared equals 42850. So we have two different data sets here, and now it wants you to find the mean age of all 32 members of the club. So it wants you to find the mean of this combined data set. So let's do that. So we can then, what I like to do is say, okay, let's make the combined um, data. We can call that, let's call it T, the total data. So if we want the mean of T, the mean of the combined data. Well, from, let's have a look on the, here, we can see that we have these expressions here, which you should understand, but I'll do, I'll do a little explanation of them. Um, this is going to equal to the sum of x plus the sum of y over nx plus ny. All right, and if you just think about it, well, the mean of this combined data is the sum of all of these data points, which is the sum of x and the sum of y, divided by the total number of um, uh, data that you have, which in this case is 32, which is 12 plus 20. Well, okay, so to find this, we need to have all these values where well, we have n y and x and the sum of y, but we need the sum of x. And the way we can find that is because we know that x prime, let's do it over here, we know that x prime equals the sum of x over nx. That means that the sum of x equals x prime times nx, all right? 
and we have x prime is 15.5 and nx is 12. So that gives us 15.5 times 12 is 186. So now, therefore, we can find t prime. So this is going to be 186 plus sum of y is 910 divided by nx plus um, and y is 12 plus 20, which is 32. So that gives us 34.25. Cool, so we have the combined mean of all of this data is 34.25. And they asked this question a bunch of times to, to find the mean and standard deviation of combined data. Anyway, let's continue. We want to find the standard deviation of all of these 32 members. So we want the standard deviation. So I like to find the variance because it's just the squared and it makes it easier for me. But you can use the standard deviation, it doesn't matter. So the variance of t, so the variance of this combined data, well we know that that is going to equal to the sum of x squared plus the sum, you know, the sum of the squares of all of the data, which is the sum of the squares of the x squared plus the y squared and the y squared over nx plus ny minus the mean of t, the mean of your combined data, which we already found. So we have this and we have nx and ny, but we need um, the sum of x squared. Well, how do we find that? Well, we know that the variance of x equals the sum of x squared over nx minus x squared, the mean of x squared. So let's figure this out. Well, we have this here. This is 1.2 squared. This is 1.2 squared. And we're doing this so we can find the sum of x squared. So then we can find the combined variance. Uh, the sum of x squared over, this is 12, minus our mean squared, which is 15.5 squared. 15.5 squared. So we take this over and then times by 12, and we should get a value here. So 1.2 squared plus 15.5 squared times 12 gives us 2900.28. I don't need to box it up. Okay, so therefore the variance of t of this combined data is equal to 2900.28 plus the sum of y squared, which is 42,850, divided by nx plus ny is just 32, minus uh, the combined mean, which is 34.25 squared. So we put all this into your calculator, and you get a value of Uh, you get a value of 256.63 63, but remember this is the variance and we want the standard deviation so we just square root this and you get 16.02 awesome so that's two um, really good examples of this style of question covering the um, coded mean and variance and the combined mean and variance which you should really go away and understand but you can just visualize it to understand this you know it really does make sense if you think about it and um, so you've got all of those questions here which again I said one out of every two S1 exams this question comes out so you've got all of the questions there from the past five or six years and you have all of my personal answers for them so download that um, but that's it from me. Please hit that like button for me. And if you uh, find this uh, content valuable, please consider subscribing. But I'll see you in the next motherfucking video.